Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Well, all right, today we're returning to our survey study of Scripture with a look at the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is, for many people, their favorite book of the Bible. It's one of the most read book of the Bibles because a lot of people do kind of a proverb a day type uh, Bible study. So you're probably very familiar with Proverbs, but still we want to look at it in a in a survey fashion. What is the purpose of the book of Proverbs? Well, simply put, the book of Proverbs instructs us in wise living and God-honoring leadership. The book of Proverbs, many people are surprised to know that is written by Solomon and collected by Solomon for the purpose of training his son to be king. So it's very direct application is training in God-honoring leadership, but really it broadly teaches wise living. So the book of Proverbs provides instruction on wise living and God-honoring leadership. Well, how will we break down this book in terms of an outline? Well, I would suggest you break it down by who wrote the Proverbs. Chapter 1 through the middle of chapter 22, you have Proverbs of Solomon. In the middle of chapter 22, specifically verse 17, through the end of chapter 24, you have anonymous Proverbs. And then in chapter 25 through 29, you have more Proverbs of Solomon. And then chapters 31, 30 and 31, you have the Proverbs of Agur and Lemuel. So those would be how I break it down into four parts. Proverbs of Solomon, chapter 1 through chapter 22, verse 16. Anonymous Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 17 through chapter 24. More Solomon, more Proverbs of Solomon in chapters 25 through 29. And then the Proverbs of Agur and Lemuel in chapters 30 and 31. Now, key to understanding the book of Proverbs is understanding kind of major themes. And there are several major themes that could be outlined. I want to give you six. First, Proverbs teaches us about the fear of the Lord, and that is really the most essential part of the book of Proverbs. It shows us what it means to fear the Lord. Also, Proverbs highly esteems wisdom. So treasuring wisdom is one of the major themes of the book of Proverbs. There are long passages given to describing the value of wisdom, and it's meant to cause us to treasure wisdom. Next, I would say a major theme of the book of Proverbs is the outcomes of wisdom and the outcomes of foolishness. I would put those together, the outcomes of wisdom and foolishness. That's a key element of the book of Proverbs. Also, I would say Proverbs highly esteems diligence. So work ethic or diligence is a key theme of Proverbs. Also charity, giving to the poor and the oppressed and caring for those who are outcast and downtrodden is a key theme of the book of Proverbs. In fact, it really helps us define those who are um, who we should give to, who are poor because of uh, calamity, injustice, um, just uh, bitter providence, and those who we shouldn't give to, those who are poor because of foolishness or laziness or those kind of things. And so charity is really clearly defined in the book of Proverbs. And then lastly, justice. Proverbs shows us, and sometimes this can kind of be seen in the outcomes of wisdom and foolishness. I almost include these together, but I do think Proverbs has a lot to teach us specifically about justice. What is just and righteous living and what is unjust and unrighteous living? So I think those are kind of key themes of the book of Proverbs. Now, what about key redemptive texts? Well, in some ways, I would point you to all of the fear of the Lord statements in the book of Proverbs, but I want to encourage you to focus on one and really to memorize this verse and put it in sort of your evangelism tool belt. This is a tremendous verse for evangelism. So as we're studying evangelism here at church and Sunday school, as you're thinking about key redemptive texts throughout the Bible that would help you take any book of the Bible and point someone towards Christ, this is a great verse for you to memorize. I think this might be the first one I've encouraged you to memorize in this survey study, but memorize Proverbs 19, 23. The fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. That is a tremendous verse telling us that fear of the Lord, which is almost synonymous with faith. If you study Proverbs, you see that wisdom and faith and fear of the Lord are almost synonymous with the walk of a believer and foolishness is based in the rejection of the Lord, not the fear of the Lord, which is really kind of an unbelief. And so when you understand that kind of as a theme in the book of Proverbs, you see how this, the fear of the Lord leads to life so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. 
What an amazing truth that points us to the fact that we who have faith in the Lord may rest confidently in his care for us, knowing that in the end, we will be untouched by evil. This is a tremendous verse, again, to put in your evangelism tool belt. I hope this, like all these survey studies, has been a great encouragement to you. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.